So clearly the president Thanks. going to frame his policy proposals as uh, ways for the Democrats and Republicans to work together. Is it going to work? What would he have to say for them to get on board? <laughs> Uh, I think it's going to be a tough sell. Uh, you know, he and he floated a proposal that the White House backed uh, about a week ago, and it was received uh, very poorly on Capitol Hill. Uh, I think tomorrow night gives him a chance to take that proposal to the American people and, in traditional fashion, try to go over the heads of Congress directly to the population, put some pressure on them to see it his way. Uh, I think that's unlikely. This is an issue that's been around a long time. The kinds of things he's proposing in terms of uh, eliminating the total level of immigration, eliminating it, uh, eliminating the diversity lottery, uh, are, are really things that the Democrats view as non-starters. So to get a bipartisan deal, some of that's going to have to change. What about a bipartisan deal as far as infrastructure spending is concerned? Because I see a lot of commentary throwing around the idea that actually for both sides here, it would be a win. The Democrats would be on board with spending. But when we've got uh, the president and the government talking about $200 billion and hoping to galvanize more money from the localities and, and the private sector here. And you've got the Democrats talking about $1 trillion um, from the federal <laughs> government here. I think the, the meat in the middle here feels like a stretch for both sides. Uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, they're pretty far apart at this point. I, I think there are really three big issues in infrastructure. The first is, what do you call infrastructure and what do you not? And, and there's never really been an agreement on that. And the more broadly you define it, the less you can do in any specific area. So that, that's going to be an issue. Uh, the second is, how do you galvanize an enormous amount of private sector capital uh, into the infrastructure area? There's been some success that, in that in the United States, but nothing on the scale that they're envisioning. Mm. And, and then third, how do you pay for the, the part that is taxpayer funded? Uh, they, they face great budget difficulties. That's been true uh, since they took office. And uh, it's going to be harder and harder to make the sell to Republicans that, that big ticket spending items are in order. Yeah, well, these are details, and details are never spelled out in the State of the Union. Um, <laughs> Doug, when he reaches across the aisle and strikes a more bipartisan tone, will the president lose his base? Will they care? Do they, do they watch the State of the Union for these things? Uh, I don't think it'll harm his base. Uh, you know, he didn't lose his base by going to Davos and, and uh, having essentially the same tone in his discussions there. Uh, I think everyone knows as a practical matter that you have to have 60 votes in the Senate to get essentially anything done going forward. Uh, the base doesn't want the government closed. The base doesn't want basic services interrupted. And so they know that he's going to have to reach out to Democrats to some extent. And that's business as usual.